The Squirmy Wormy, in all its incarnations, like Merlin, is a dream to some and a nightmare to others. But no matter where you land, there are two absolute truths. One, these things catch fish just about anywhere at any time. And two, the material used to tie them can be a royal pain to work with. The problem is the extremely wiggly material does not play well with tying thread, adhesives, nothing. And even if you are able to get it locked down in a reasonable orientation on the hook, your thread will have likely cut well into the material, significantly weakening it. Here's my version of the Squirmy Wormy that incorporates a simple trick that helps to alleviate some of the attachment problems. I start with a Dairiki number 135 in a size 14. It's a tough little hook with an offset that holds fish well even when made barbless. Start by mashing the barb and then getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. For thread, use something that matches the worm material. Here, red UTC 140 denier. Start your thread on the hook shank behind the eye and take a few reps rearward before snipping or breaking off the tag. Dubbing is the real secret to success with this pattern. Here, I'm using red superfine. Pull a small wisp free from the packet or dispenser and dub a thin two inch long noodle on your tying thread. Start taking wraps with the noodle to create a dubbed little segment that goes all the way up to behind the hook eye. You should still have some dubbing noodle left on your tying thread. The worm material I'm going to use is called Silly Worms from Wapsie and it's available in a range of colors. One of them even glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. Here, I'm going to go with red. After snipping a single strand free, I fold it in half and cut it at the midpoint so I can make two flies from one strand. Lay the midpoint of one of the two segments on top of the hook shank behind the eye and use a pinch wrap to secure it there. Notice how the dubbing noodle prevents the thread from digging in and cutting the worm material. And that's the trick. When you reach bare thread, don't wrap with it. Instead, get another pinch of dubbing and create a similar noodle as before on your tying thread. Once again, take wraps with the noodle, this time all the way back to above the hook point, and then forward up to the eye. Ideally, you want to run out of dubbing noodle right there. Now pull the front worm material back to expose the hook eye and take a couple of wraps behind it. You can then pick up your whip finish tool, pull the worm material back yet again, and do a four or five turn whip finish. When you're done, snip or cut your tying thread free. And that's it. The dubbing forms a cool little collar, kind of like real earthworms have, while the rest of the material is free to wiggle enticingly in the current.